There's a difference between desire and attunement, and this is particularly important when we are walking a spiritual path, when we have a desire for awakening, a desire for God consciousness, a desire for samadhi, for satori. When we are practicing our path from a perspective of desire, it means that we are practicing because we have a fundamental sense of lack and that we're trying to fill that lack with what? With what we project the divine, the holy, the sacred to be that will fill our lack. The, the challenge of this approach, this desire-driven approach, is that we are fundamentally practicing as one who lacks. We are in a structure of identification with lack. So every movement forward, so to speak, on the path, the very cultivation itself is informed by and focused on the lack. Now attunement is quite different. Attunement begins with a subtle, perhaps, but definite intuition, recognition that the holy is within. It's already there. You already are, in Western language, a child of God. You already are, in Buddhist language, having Buddha nature. You already are, in yogic uh, metaphor, a self-existent, radiant one. And yet, in the, in the midst of that very intuition, there's an, another recognition that this mind, that this emotional system, that this soul is a bit confused, a bit tangled up. And that the answer, so to speak, is to become more and more uh, intimate with the wholeness, with the radiance that abides in the heart. And so we attune to that radiance. We attune to that presence. And from that attunement, we meet all of the unredeemed states of consciousness, all of the knots in the heart, with loving care, with precision, and with wisdom, we untangle them on our journey of ever-deepening intimacy and attunement to that which we already are. <laughs>